Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're jumping into some 1-2 cash games, buying for this game's $200. Cut off open, button flat, squeezing king queen suited. See the four bets. I think probably just gonna play as a flat. So take the flop here. Uh, two overs, gutter, backdoor, flush draw. I'm kind of curious if I can just rip this one or not. Um, I think we're going to. This could be really bad. Now, the thing is, I think it's going to fold out his ace, queen, ace, king. So, like, if we get called, sometimes the king and queen can be live. So, I'm not sure on the jam there. But it's a board. I can have, like, two pairs and sets, I think. So... And then, like I said, his ace, king, ace, queen, high, probably. Sometimes you can call James ace, king, ace, queen, high. I don't think on that board he would be. Here we have button open. We three bet small blind, big blind calls, button calls. We're going to bet the flop with the queen high flush draw. And turn jack. And I'm just going to bet again to be willing to call if they jam. So we do turn the open under as well. Uh, we're the straight perfect backdoor straight with diamonds missing So we're gonna be all in here jamming 112 into 192 And snap calls King Jack they turn two pair we get very lucky on the river Queen tons good All right betting turn here river the flush love to see it And go for value River in the nuts. Wow, they jam even better. Wow, nut flush over second, nut flush back door. We came into that one late there. but Oh my goodness, that's the run good we we're hoping for. Cut off open, through betting ace jack suited. See the call. Uh, King 6 5, start with the bet. Really wish it was a hard out there at least. We'll start small though. Uh, I do think blocking Ace King more relevant here because of how deep we are. He's gonna have a lot more flats with Ace King than he would have said we were Hunter Blinds effective. Um, so Queen on the turn. Going to bet turn here. Ooh, Diamond. Okay. I have a Jack, which is good, but I don't have a Diamond, which is bad. So I'm probably gonna give up on this one. Like if this is a nine, it's not a Diamond. I'm gonna be jamming. But with Ace Jack of Hearts, I'm gonna give up. And jams will fold ace high. Cut off open, button flat, squeezing aces here. And a beauty. See the four bets. Um, I think mainly just going to be flatting. Going to mix in some jams though too as well. So we'll just call take the flop. And 10, 9, 8, check. Probably just check rip this one, SPR. It's not a great flop, but... Uh, SPR just under two to one if they do bet. Uh, checks though, three turn. And going bet half on the turn. Could try to check jam again on the turn, but decide to bet out ourselves now. And then deuce river. Uh, we don't have a club, which is bad. To be fair, in a four bet pot, I think he's just gonna get another turn quite a bit with those. I could be wrong. I think we still jam, trying to target his over pairs. But we probably don't want to get snap snapped. <laughs> uh, we see the fold. Take it down with the aces. All right, cut off open. Defend eight six suited here. Check and flop five five four. Gut shot backdoor diamonds. We're gonna go for check raise. See the call. Uh, three on the turn. Bet again. So we turn the open ender now. Call, Deuce River. Ace makes a straight. Backdoor spades come in too. I'm gonna go small, this is maybe a mistake. Part of this is designed to do some raises. So the problem is there's boats out there too. So yeah, I probably don't wanna go big. It gets kinda gross if he jams, cause like, I don't think we get to fold a six, but we would fold an ace, so. And just has the flush, so tilting. I maybe should have just folded because, like I said, we do lose two. We have to literally hope he's turning some hand into a bluff. We lose the boats, we lose the flushes. 
probably should at least thought about that more. Small inlet, raise in fives. Uh, against their stack size, I actually kind of wish I would have checked back, but... Anyways, we decided to raise. King 3-2, pretty good, only one over card. Not bad when we have pocket fives. We'll start small. See the call, ace on the turn gives us a gut shot. I think we are going to probably try to run this one as a bluff. So we're turning our fives into a bluff here. Now they can have some ace high, but obviously we're going to have better ace x, aside from that having like ace three, ace two here. And then, yeah, I am going to triple barrel bluff all in, trying to get a king to fold. Or a weak ace. Snap call is not good. Ace five. All right, so get our bluff picked off, unfortunately, after the ace turn. Raise ace five suited, two call, or three calls, sorry. Um, great flop, though. We flop top and bottom. Start with a bet. Short stack calls. All right, everybody calls. Three turn. Uh, I would love this player to just lead jam for me. <laughs> Make it easier. They don't. Uh, so when we bet into three people on a turn, I think we're super polarized here. Even if I had ace king, I'd probably check, so I'm probably potting the turn. Not sure this is correct. Um, to be fair, I would think people would raise ace nine a ton here. Two four shouldn't be too much of a thing, other than the big blind maybe having two four diamonds, which would be sad. But we're gonna be potting turn here. On um, the double flush draw board, this player basically gonna be all in. They have four dollars behind. And king of diamonds is gonna be so sad if they have diamonds, but we put in the last few dollars. And they fold, so they must have missed their big draw. Maybe like seven, eight of clubs, six, seven of clubs, pair and gutter. So anyways, take it down. All right, open nine, small blind flats, big blind squeeze. It's a little bit odd with this player's shorter stack, but they play a ton of hands. I think I still want to be flatting a position. If this player here was on the button, we would not be calling. Be folding, they lead jam. It gets tricky here, so I think it actually makes our hand a lot easier to play. If Shom calls, we probably just fold. And then if he folds, we call. Now it's gross when he just has ace king decides to call here, but when he rejams, I think we have to fold nines. Uh, so he has queens and eight five. So, oh, what is bink the nine on the turn? You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Make the fold of the over pair. The RNG is like punishment instantly. Instant punishment. All right, so this is a four bet pot hijack versus cutoff pre flop. Flop top top queen nine nine. So you can still have aces in range. Obviously, you can have 9x too. So this isn't like perfect, but I'm obviously not going to be super greedy when I flop top pair, top picker here. So see the call. Eight on the turn, not a very good turn card. Jack 10 comes in. I think I'm actually going to make a check here. I'm not really sure what's best. I may be supposed to just go small again, but kind of gets become a tricky spot where it's hard to get them to call down with worse for three streets. So like our best shot at getting paid is like uh, bluff catching. So check, check, three river. It's a heart on the end. I think we're going to go for block to call if they jam. So having the ace of hearts is good. We block the nut flush. A lot of times when check two, people will start betting hearts. Not necessarily always, but... So we're going to block river with the intention to call if they jam. Um, if I had ace queen, no heart, I'd be... Especially without the ace of hearts, I'd probably be leaning towards a block fold. Um, but as play, we probably need a block call. So not loving it. Not shocked if we're beat, but as played calling... Has ace king for the bluff with the king of hearts. Ace queen, good. Running good there, obviously, with the pre flop. Four bets time. So we open hijack, cut off three bets. We're going to be putting in the four bets. Uh, top two. I like it. Go ahead and start with the bet. Uh, six turn. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Check jammer, go small. I'm not really sure what's right here. On the heart. 
So we're gonna bet small to be willing to call a few jams. Uh, ugh, Queen River. Um, so there's not much behind here. It's like only half pot. What worse can call? Any ace x playing the king kicker? I don't even know why he's gonna turn to a bluff though. I have no idea what to do here. Because we only have half pot behind, I'm just gonna jam. Feels awful if he has king queen ace queen though. Um, has the king queen shoots. Okay, so like I said, I kind of got myself in a river spot. I had no clue what to do. I don't know. I mean, like, what's worse is calling there. We have to hope he had, like, some weak ace x that's going to call ace and queens of the king kicker. Uh, yeah, that probably just needs to be a check. Probably just needs to be a check. I mean, I'm going to be check calling and lose probably, but yeah, probably a mistake on the river there. All right, YouTube, that wraps up our cash game session here today. And we did book a small win of $244 over the course of six hours. Also got $330 right back. Huge shout out to the Poker Stars Twitch channel sending the raid our way. Biggest raid I've ever received on the channel, 2,700 viewers. So much appreciated to them and the viewers that stuck around to check out the action. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.